Hello guys, I'm back with another video for you today, and I've got a pretty funky list here. Turns out Lippy is pretty damn broken in Skellige uh, when combined with some of the new cards. In particular, Hena Kaduk. This card is so good, if you aren't already aware. The Witcher spawn, Witcher Bear, or even the Quartermaster. Very, very, very powerful in this faction, and, and some nice 6 potential carryover from the heal effect on this location. Probably the best location in the game, I think. And of course, just Bear Witches in general very strong. And then there's Snowdrop, this new card, which I'm actually really surprised and happy about. It's a very cool card and works in quite a few different decks, I think. And it basically just allows you to deck manipulate and shuffle back any bad cards. You know, maybe your uh, Morkvarg or Nickers or Roach or, or something that's already bricked. You know, Shield Maiden. Uh, and it also has great synergy with Burner Bran and Skulls, which also happen to draw cards and boost Snowdrop up uh, as per her ability. So yeah, this deck works so well. Quartermaster is also a really nice little synergy card with the Lugos to get a ton of value from you know him with your leader effect as well. And of course, you're just a Lippy deck with double Ceres, absolute nonsense points, two totems potentially. Igni is in there. You can use that twice against V players. You could play Heatwave instead if you want to be a bit safer with that. I think this deck was originally made by Gravesh. Uh, well, you know. It's, it's pretty straightforward, it's Lippy with a bunch of the new powerful cards and that snowdrop, snowdrop effect uh, for great value. You'll see this deck just snowballs and rolls over so many other decks. It snowballs the wrong word, just pile drive I suppose is a better one. <laughs> you just end up having so many points, particularly if you get red coin. In that case your opponent's losing on even a lot of the time, especially since now you can just fix your hand with snowdrop if it is not super great, uh, whereas you would fool prey to that before, uh, you know, if you're playing Lippy and had a bad hand. But yeah, really, really powerful deck. I would recommend this one if you want to get to pro rank. It's pretty straightforward to play and it is a blast. Very powerful if you are a fan of Skelliger or you want just a very popular, powerful deck, then I'd try this. With that being said, enjoy the games, guys. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Lippy, action, Lippy, action. Let's go, Lippy. I'm not exactly sure if there's like a uh, technical way to play the snowdrop that is most valuable. The awkward thing I find with snowdro snowdrop is you want to put cards back before you play your burner. And if you do that, your burner can brick you, so <laughs> it kind doesn't make sense that it would be in that order. You miss Alza. I played against Alza today. I played played against him once. So speak for yourself. And the source for the list. Uh, yes. This is Gravish's deck actually. It's probably quite popular at this at this stage, right? probably get your list. But you must be patient. That's the deal. Feign death on turn two, by the way. We await the signal. Damn. Death, don't guy doesn't mess around. <laughs> this guy doesn't mess around at all. He really... When he wants to win a round, he, he wants to win it. it. He's in it for the, for the big... the big bucks. Jesus. I mean, we pr we probably can fight against Fain Death. I'm not particularly scared of that. If it pulls out Aileron, then we might just you know cut our losses a bit and not actually not actually do too much here. I'll play a Scald. It's pretty low commitment. We got Nickers. That's wonderful. It's actually probably fine. Snowdrop, of course, to fix it. Probably not gonna get Igni value on this road, but you never know, we might get two fives. Problem is we don't have it in hand, so it's not really looking that great. 
click the thing. It's not going to be enough points for my Ignan Sergeant. Ah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Nice Igni, Igni practice. We need 35 points on the row, unfortunately. Yeah, whatever. We can just play on a bit, I suppose. We can play Cerus, for example. We're not really winning the round, but we'll see what we can get from him. And I don't think we're going to be too scared of a push in round two anyway. <laughs> I mean, this, these, this, these points are just ridiculous, right? It's just lippy. Cerus. Why not Snowdrop before Skulled? Because, uh... I mean, I don't know if it's actually even right to play the Snowdrop early. Because it can un it can fix your hand, right? So you might want to play Discards before her. I mean, I'm technically not point maximizing, but that's okay. You don't always have to point maximize, right? I like Snowdrop you now. Like us or not. Alrighty, I'll probably put... Scold back. Because so you probably want to burn her. And the other cards are golds. So. <laughs> it's kind of obvious, right? Sure, Salty Captain. It's not my creation, though. It's the boys at TLG came up with this one. This is a powerhouse of a deck. Absolute powerhouse. Style. I'm not even sure I should share I like it. I might be breaking some TLG convention by playing it, I don't know. I don't know if there's rules and regulations. If there are, I am not aware. I could wait for the knickers to come out. We're kind of running out of plays a little bit, but I'll play Burn of the What's the worst that can happen, right? We can draw Morkvark. That's probably the worst that can happen. Two un undiscardable cards, but it's fine, right? We could discard them both for big tempo. I don't really care. You don't actually need the more five points later. So. What will you do? Yeah, I <laughs> love how we're winning on even despite a scenario, a literal scenario being played, and we're still winning on even. It's pretty hilarious. This deck just shits out points. It has so many more points points than every other deck. It's kind of ridiculous. Everyone in the server already got the deck anyway, I see. I could tweak it a little bit to uh, claim ownership. <laughs> so that's how deck creation works, right? Kappa. Oh, you got rid of my snowdrop. Feels bad, man. Might block the cat which are damaged with totem hit. Lippy is just busted. You can just play all your golds. Because whatever, you get them back. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Nothing really matters. Just a million points. It's actually probably really good news that we're pushing here because I'm not entirely sure we win long rounds against this opponent. So playing here in the Kaduk. I think so. And just a bear witch. Uh, double the coin and consider it done. Double the coin. Okay. I want to play Colgrim as well, but I guess there's no time Asking limit on that. For help. Now that's smart. Oh, I see. Time Flash Gaming coming in with the raid. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. We were not the ones to start this war. So I guess we just play a Witcher guy again, because why not? Or do we go for an Igni at this point? That's uh, still not active. Igni will probably just throw away, I think. I'm really just smoking right now. Is this even enough points? I might have fucked up. Need a hand? Just chop one off. Thankfully is oh no, his commando is going off, no, no. It is enough by one. So maybe we can get the final elf synergy or gate uh Gezraz rather. Or something. Mm. 
You know, I've noticed a trend, guys. I think people don't like Scoia'tael as a faction very much, compared to some of the other factions. I think the two most popular factions are Nilfgaard and Monsters. Have you guys noticed this? Nilfgaard and Monsters are top two. Bottom two are Scoia'tael and Syndicate. And Northern Realms and Skellige in the middle. I think Skellige is the third most popular. Hush. And Northern Realms is fourth. Did you know that, guys? A little bit of, little bit of trivia for you. So we kind of got everything from them. I think we can be happy with that. We need to draw Lugos. But we have a Neuromancy, so we basically already drew him. <laughs> Seems fair. Okay. Happy with that. Very happy with that one. And I don't know if it's in terms of people who play the decks, but this is what I'm, I'm talking just in terms of people who watch videos. Definitely in terms of watching videos. It might be that Northern Realms is more popular than SK, actually. Northern Realms might be number three. I think Monsters is number one in terms of videos. Nilfgaard number two. Northern Realms, Skellige. Square Tell Syndicate. Syndicate's at the bottom. Oh, you have done it now. Probably because people haven't fully unlocked uh, all the cards necessary for it and whatnot. We can just lippy now. There's no problem with that. Absolutely no issue with that. Pretty happy actually to My do it. Makes our draws pretty spicy. <laughs> if we don't play Ceres. This deck's so broken, like, I can just do the Ceres again in this round if we need it. This poor guy is playing all of his provisions in an attempt to win. <sighs> Too slow. You're and it turns out we've just still got a billion points. I'll cleave you in two. I'll cleave you in two, buddy. Should we a Nero here? Probably. Problem with a Nero is it makes it a bit more awkward to play Lugos. But we should probably a Nero here, I think. Just get that out. Because the chances that we, we don't... like We're not losing the round after we play Ceres, right? It might even be too much of a commitment. But we gain a card, so I think it's acceptable. He still has a leader, but <clears throat> nothing really to go with it. This is just ridiculous, mate. He's played all those provisions and we've still got... Oh, we've still got a Burner, Totem, Bear Witches, Lugos. Got everything. Probably could have even min-maxed a bit more and not played my Ceres. But it's whatever. Alright, can we get the Burner? Are we just going to have a Bear Witcher hand? <laughs> the triple Bear Witcher hand. I think I want to keep that just for meme value. It's not very good, but... Okay, we got Totem, it's good enough. I'm going to keep it just so I can play three Bear Witchers in round three. I've never done that before. Like, sure, Ke Hen Kaduch, sure. But I've never just sm slammed three Bear Witcher guys. I feel like I'm playing old Gwen right now. My triple bronze. Ah. They fixed Gwent, guys. They figured it out. All they had to do was uh, humans, give me bear witches. <laughs> give me many, many bear witches. I guess we just play uh, Lugos. We can double click this, but it's kind of troll. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. Monsters and NR easiest pilot. Yeah, that could contribute to the popularity. I think people like seeing the bad guy deck be played, right? The Nilfgaard. Ooh, that's, that's not a good play, mate. 
However, my bear witches are <laughs> my bear witches are a bit sad. What are you gonna do, eh? I only have a five point leader. Can he actually win here? That'd be funny. He might actually be able to win. My placement playing right into the Elven or the Dolbathana Bowman. But surely he doesn't have any more good cards. I think he must have ran out at this point. Standalone power standalone power. Yeah, it's another bowman, mate. It's not already. It's not entirely what you need oh, for round three. Dancing around. It's not for me. I think we got him, lads. I just feel like I'm I'm not really losing with Lippy. The only struggle is maybe uh, I mean there's some like engine decks can be a bit annoying. Sometimes. The only good human is a dead human. <laughs> okay, it's not that close after all, guys. Hello, Turtit. I've been playing for quite some time. Overkill at that point. <laughs> Lippy Mirror. What is the best deck to get to rank one? Honestly, Lippy is pretty busted. I would just play Lippy. It doesn't really have bad matchups. It just wins against most stuff. So I would go with Lippy. Seems to be the best deck that I've played this patch. Got a pretty decent score in it so far. Uh, to be Mulligan a Scald here. It's, it's probably fine to keep it. It's not the best hand that ever existed, but it's also not the worst. Need to get them no rest, no reprieve. It's a bit annoying I don't have discard targets, I guess. How do I have so many resources? Just been grinding since beta, mate. I'm beta grinder. Been playing this game for a long, long time. You feel me? I promise you a quick deer. Play Igni over Heatwave, yeah, but Heatwave's probably better. Honestly, Igni is pretty good for the mirrors, I find. Often they, uh, they stack that front row pretty hard. Oh, we can gutting slash now. That's pretty sick. Gotta be scared of Snowdrop. Obviously, it's a bit of a downside to be going, uh, going first in this matchup. Especially when I'm running Crow instead of like TA or something. It's quite a few less points. This should probably be a TA in all honesty. Not sure why it isn't. Alright, taking the cheeky pass. Obviously if you played on... F oh, never mind. Unless we want to rely on our Nicarino coming out, but... That's a bit of a yikes. This is really awkward. If that had gone on front, we get an Igni as well. So, yeah, we kind of got scammed a little bit. We could just pray that the Nickers comes. I'm not sure I'm really in the market for doing that. Ugh. Might just have to be a totem play, honestly. Or we can just hope Nickers comes. I kind of think we should hope that Nickers comes. That's like the best technical play. Shit. <laughs> or we can just instantly lose the game. Okay, well, I believed a little bit too hard there. That's, that's definitely not correct. Uh, I'm trolling. Oh well. Oh well, it's fine. Could have played Bear Witcher. Yeah, it only deals damage to himself though, it's a bit trash. Doesn't deal the three damage. Dog fucked me ever so hard, dude. If the dog had gone in front for him as well, it's like the perfect timing and the perfect row for it to go on, for him to win on even. If I pass after. I mean, I shouldn't have passed, obviously, but. Whatever, mate. Whatever. 
Go ahead. Stare at me stump again. See what happens. So forfeit, probably. But I don't know. It's a mirror match. It's not that bad to lose on even, probably. It's not ideal, but we just have to mirror him, and then it's still like 50-50. Like whoever has a better hand wins, right? Just gotta be a bit careful not to lose a card. Ugh. It's pretty annoying, honestly. Denying a man Lugos big value. Play totem now. Hopefully catch me up a little bit. My dog is fucking not doing anything. Come out the deck, mate, please. He doesn't know we have Igni. I mean... Maybe. Debatable, I think. Debatable. It's kind of a common card, I feel. Burner, I think, is, is looking pretty nice. The only downside is... I should probably click Totem first, right? So be it. For the points. Boop boop. Or boop boop and discard this a bit later. You can maybe bait him in a little bit, right? Nothing like some overseas this is the thing, we lost on even, but we're kind of chilling. Like, I still have Dog as well for points. He used his Lugos, which is actually a, I don't know if it's a sizable commitment, but it's some kind of commitment for sure. And the dog is still in the bloody deck, Jesus Christ. Don't you pester me. Well, we're not drawing it, so that's good. Crack and eat me girlies. Looky here. Played quite a few cards already. He's got totems still, that's the big one. Take care of your blades and they'll take care of you. That's also pretty nasty. Um, could play Snowdrop, but it doesn't do him do much at this point. Alright, let's have a thicky think. Probably just gonna be Hen Kaduk. It's carryover as well. This is pretty interesting, we might actually be winning. I'd lend you a hand, but then I'd have none. We have a Nero as well, so we can do our Ceres if it's forced. We're basically just mirroring him, right? Maybe Igni will come in clutch. Need to really keep this Igni indicator open. See if we can get anything going. We got a lot of Lugos value though. Must be said. But we can maybe get even more, because we can put him in the Hen Kaduk. The opponent cannot do that. Play this. Oh, that dancing. We're in a really chill it's position. We can kind of just wait, see if we need to use our carryover, see if we need to use our good cards. Maybe we get Igni value. This is interesting, man. I wasn't expecting to be not actually we losing. Shall do it my way. Pretty much instantly. Igni is looking a bit rough. What will you do? If we just have to take it. At this stage. Not the best play I've ever made, but... Let's get this over with. Could be more value later, but I'm not really too bothered. I think we can always keep up with our Lugos. Because we have the guy on the board. And he might have an Igni himself. It looks like he's running the same deck I've got. So if we can play around that, we should be okay. Maybe making his life quite awkward now. Ah, uh, Bear Witcher, yeah, that's pretty... Double the kind and consider it done. Okay, and he's used Hen Kaduk as well, alright. So play this here. Come on, let's go! Time to face our fears! Look at this value, though. Train on the cone. It's absolutely incredible. It. Do we wait here? Do we wait just so we don't give Igni value? Might be a good shot. 
11 plus 8. No, we can actually do it as well. It's funny. Oh wait, no. Okay, I'm actually dumb, guys. I'm actually super dumb. We may as well click, I suppose. Ah, shouldn't have done that. But it doesn't matter, we haven't used an era yet, so... We're just chilling hard. He can play the lippy if he wants, it doesn't make a difference. Hey Uncle Toby, what's up? So what, his last card is Igni? He's trying to get the value on it? I don't know, it's weird. So we kind of have to lippy now, right? It's fine. We get this deck back. It's it's actually a pretty shit deck. All things considered. But we can't really a Neuromancy because... <gasps> we can a Neuromancy actually. Because then we'll draw it, right? So that sounds like the play. I think we a Neuromancy the Bear Witcher. Yeah, it's a good play. We can keep all that lippy value. Just chop one off. All right, may as well hand could have, I think, as well. I forgot we we lost on even. That's what's making this awkward. Wait, does he win if no? He can't. Ceres, he's blocked. His row's blocked. So I think we're in a pretty good spot, right? Because ah, oh, he's playing heat. Oh fuck. Oh man, I have to play my lips, lippy. That sucks. Time for I was hoping I could just win based on me still having lippy and him not. But apparently can't, so he's probably in trouble. Because he's still got. No, he hasn't got totem. What does he even have? I don't know. I'm not sure what this will come down to. Basically, just whoever draws. My deck's really bad. Hmm. I mean, I kind of threw this by playing the uh, round one the way I did, I suppose. It's basically as good as we get here, guys. It's quite sad. But possibly he won't be in better shape. I think he's actually basically on the same level that we are. He might have another gold, like a snowdrop. Well, did what we could. Maybe he'll brick on Shield Maiden or something and we win. You seen the Viper meme? I've seen it. I don't know how people managed to pull that off. It's pretty wild. Step there. Okay, he didn't brick, so best case we're getting like a tie of sorts probably. Best case. Need a good slot. It's looking pretty rip, I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> Lugos, okay. For the clan, for we actually win if he has like a gutting slash, right? Play around gutting slash by hitting this target. So we do beat some cards in theory. We lose to Snowdrop. Yeah! We got him! Nice! Wow, what a game. That was intense. Dude, we have like the same freaking hand. Oh my goodness. The Quartermaster saved my ass. Oh, thanks for the sub, Audio Shade. Appreciate that. I go first, okay. Against Elves. With a spicy hand. <laughs> Very spicy. So we've drew, drawn our thinning cards, that's important. I think I'll start with Hunter, because then we can just go a second Hunter and it's fine, we don't really miss any value. Unless he kills them, this. I guess. But should probably play this on front, because he can have uh, Bowman. 
Don't know how you feel about Lippy being a bit good. Yeah, Lippy's... I mean, it's Lippy, isn't it? Either you love it or you hate it. Probably. It is a bit of a brain-dead way to play. You can just play all your golds and whatever, but... I don't know. Okay. So do we burner here? I think burner's okay. We can also just scold. It's a bit less commitment. Don't you pester me. Okay, yeah. We drew snowdrop. That's nice. Crack, I need me so now we can do snowdrop, mask of Urbaros, burner. Should be quite a lot of points. No! We killed the hunter. It's okay, because we're probably going to get rid of slashes anyway. No, probably not. We might also want to just... Nah, we probably want to snowdrop first. Right? Why aren't you listening? Listen to me sing, dammit! It's a Ceres, nice. Uh, I don't think we need to mask. We'll probably play Ceres first so we don't brick on that. Should put her on back row, maybe? Nah, I guess it's okay. You love the skirmishers? Skirmishers at four strength are really dope. Remember they used to be like two strength or something, right? At the start of Homecoming. It's <laughs> pretty pathetic. I think at least. I, I don't remember for sure, but... Alright, so he's probably going to have to pass now, because we're just putting out so many points. I'm going to get rid of Gutting Slash. Don't need it. Save the four points for carryover, effectively. But he's like bullied out and surround for sure. So now we just have to get scenario from him or something in round two. Done all of our thinning. Lippy is active. Should be good. Ah, oh, thanks, shiny chick. I like my sweater too. It's very uh, soft, very comfy, kind of. I think we'll get rid of Skull actually. Morkvarg is not what we like to see, but we could even get rid of it with Burner, I don't mind it. It's actually a decent play, I think. We can even do it first. Card. I guess Totem first might be a little bit better. Um, At this point, we should probably go on back road to play around Gaitan Valley. But I always call him Gaitan, Gezraz Valley. Because he hits front row, of course. Next time it'll be personal. Okay, but I mean, we can't avoid having some units there with Burner. And, uh, Can dwarves fight? All that stuff, right? Ah, the fish pissing lakes. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. I'll just get the Morkvarg out now. It doesn't really matter when we get it out, and having it as a discard target is actually probably a good thing. It means we don't have to get rid of a, a different card. So we could play Lippy now. Kind of fine with doing that. For the most part. Depends if we want Totem back or not. But Also depends if we want to actually push this round or not. Time for you to die. synergy with stratagems, nice it is, it is. He's leadering, so he wants to take that card off us. Interesting. Very interesting. So I think we can continue playing a bit. I mean at this point there's no risk to basically going all the way down to zero cards and having our Ceres as the finisher. So if we do that, we're basically always favoured. We can even play Hen Kaduk. Um, on front. To potentially heal the Shield Maiden carryover. Seems good, right? I'm going to do it now and I'll play the Quartermaster. So we can synergize that with Lugos. We might not get the card back. We're kind of like looking for a big Igni, otherwise we're just going to try to bleed out Scenario, I think. Humans above, beasts below. Don't know which is worse. Don't know which is worse. Me neither, buddy. Me neither. Um, I think I'll just play my Lugos now. I don't really need to save it. 
It's kind of whatever. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. Move the pendulum. I'm much better at that. Such a powerful play, man. I'm actually ahead in points by quite a bit now. We'll probably get the card back. If we get the card back, I don't see how we lose, because we're basically... I mean, yeah. If Lippy has more leader value than you, you know you're in kind of quite deep amounts of trouble. <laughs> it's generally not going to be fun for you. Could have played Lugos on front, but I think I'd rather have... Uh... I mean, yeah, probably playing Lugos on front was just better, right? I don't know why it's not, not doing that. Huh? Is that a row? Vulnerable to an Igni? Not really just yet. So he'll go to five. We can actually hit the Aileron down. I'll cleave you into. Go for a potential fives on the front or fours on the back. Or... Yeah, it's annoying that the row, like, yeah, you think this is a twelve-point igni, but it's not, guys. This is a oh my god, this is a sick yeah, igni. Thank you for that, my dude. Humans. Appreciate it. It's huge. It's Let's absolutely huge. Monstrous igni, killing an engine as well. GG. Lippy strikes again, <laughs> smacking the opponent. God, the Igni is so punishing. This guy's fucked now. He has to play Scenario, and then we just pass. Game is over. Doesn't even have it, maybe. So we can just play on the front, play our entire hand. Potentially, as well. May as well take the hand Kaduk value now, because it's really huge. Um, what are you gonna do, eh? We we'll get Gaetan here, uh, Gezrez rather here, at least straight, if not Scenario. I think we just beat Scenario with Ceres anyway. Wait, do I have to play my Lippy here? I think I kind of do. Maybe I fucked up. Hush, little monster. Don't I don't have to, but my hand is going to be a bit, a bit wonky. I guess I can always Snowdrop round three. He used a leader charge there. But I've got a pass here, otherwise we're opening ourselves up to losing a card, which is not ideal. We have a leader, he doesn't. We have a Ceres, he doesn't. Should be good enough. We were not the ones to start this war. Elves are not usually known for their short round capabilities. He could have scenario still. It's gonna be his best chance of winning, I think. So last card, Quartermaster is probably better than, you know, Skald or whatever, Gutting Slash. But we could, we can just Skald this uh, Quartermaster away and try to find a better card. Because we'll have some golds again in the deck, might be worth doing. It's the Fain Death, guys. He, he's doing it. We stand no chance. Apparently. The only card we want we would want to play is Totem really. Style. That's right. I like fighting with style. Might be losing dude. This is a strong ass round three actually. <laughs> If he has two elves. Um, okay, we should probably play back row. Pro do we scald first before Ceres? There's an argument to do that, right? Man, there's a lot of bricks. I think my best chance here is actually scald first. The only bad one is Nickers. And I mean, Shield Maiden's kind of weird, but it's actually better, I think. This way. 
Because this basically means now I have... Uh, there's a couple of things here, right? Oh wait, no. Okay, for some reason I thought... My brain's doing weird things. I thought he was getting a waylay here, but he's not. So that's that's one thing. Um, but yeah, I'm also just thinking like... Now we can get Totem, right? Whereas we couldn't before. And we only miss what? Ah, is that even worth it? Maybe that's maybe that's worse. I don't really know the maths on that. But... Wonder if we're losing here. That's pretty good points. Okay, it hit the right unit. That's good for us. I think we got the win. <laughs> pretty close. Scenario in round three, if you can trigger it, turns out it's pretty good, but we do get that. I'm not sure if that skull play was worth it. I think if we don't draw the shield maiden, it's it's probably fine. Uprising. Miss 7, but I get 12 minus worst card, yeah. So it's probably only worth, like, I don't know. It's, it's worth, so maybe that play is worth it, assuming my Scald would draw me a 4 point card if I play Cyrus, on average. That's the only case it's worth it, right? Otherwise it's just like a Dumbo small brain play. Should I actually be keeping Morkvark? That's something I haven't really considered. Because of course Lippy pulls in. Not without good reason. They but you know, possibly it's just good. You know, to to discard him with burner and skull and stuff. How's NR looking? I think NR's decent. Um, the wonders of projectiles and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one right now. It feels a little bit strange. So what are we doing? Snowdrop first or? Scald first? Snowdrop's fault, probably okay. I like you whether you like us or not. It's always a bit weird, but I got rid of these cards I reckon. Could get rid of a scald, but I think I'd rather keep that one around. Snowdrop just lets you fix your hand. It's really, really nutty and lippy. It's so uh, powerful. So we've got an actual Witcher deck. Okay. The bolt. I know. I'm on it. Witchers. Witchers. All right. What are we doing? Just burner, I guess. Maybe Scald. It's a bit chiller. We could also Saris. Okay, we're probably Saris. Hope we don't get squirreled. Ceres is good because it just gets rid of all the bricks that we can draw with Burner. Or at least a lot of them. Obviously it's helping us win the round, even. I like you whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, serial killer vibes. I like her other voice line, the one about like... The singing. I like, I like Snowdrop's voice lines, they feel very like... Genuine. I don't know how to explain. Like you, you kind of get, you kind of understand the personality of that character just from the voice lines very well. I think. Like, what is that voice line like? Uh, listen to me sing or something, right? You can tell she's kind of a little bit triggered. <laughs> People aren't listening to the fucking. You know what I'm trying to say. It is a girl, right? I'm a little bit. I don't know. I think so. Pretty sure. Alright, so we're clear of bricks. Burner Bran is sliding in you stand to the, the server. So now we have a, a, a fateful decision. Do we want to actually get the Mork Park this round? I think we do. Isn't that just good? Like, we get so many points. We can obviously keep it for now, but this just seems like the way, honestly. Got no idea what I'm trying to say. Thanks, Kedge. 
Appreciate it. You know what's fun? Swapping V with Albert Armored Cavalry and with Viper Alchemist. I agree, Clavicus. Sounds like a great time. Snowdrop is the violin. No, it's actually the chicken, you idiot. God, people don't know their Gwent lore at all. You can't see the chicken when I zoom in, but it is the chicken in the background, which is Snowdrop. You wouldn't know, you wouldn't, you're not... You're not up to date on your Witcher lore, you plebs. I think it's, I think it's the fucking girl. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Okay, we're looking like we're steamrolling a bit, guys. <laughs> 20 points up on even. Oh my. That's balanced. Really balanced deck, this one. Happy go lucky or school shooter vibes? That's the real question, isn't it? Kind of a mixture. A, ni a nice mixture, I think. A bit of both with Snowdrop. I thought Snowdrop was the fence the girl's leaning on. Oh god. Oh dearie me. <laughs> when do you think I can actually pass, guys? Surely at some point we have enough points to make a pass and they're not really going to get the points. I think I can pass now. I don't think they can do 20 in... In what? Three cards? Okay. We got him. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's probably the easiest game we've played today. Pretty sure this one's over. I haven't even used a bunch of my power. That's the hilarious thing. I won this with Snowdrop and Burner and Scold and Ceres. And I still have all my power plays, including an Igni. Which I guess is, yeah, it is a power play, right? I love this hand. This hand is basically perfect. Unless I wanted, like, Scold shenanigans with the... Skirmisher, but I'm pretty happy with this. I'm content. We go Bear, which is Quartermaster, into Lugos, destroy any engine value he has. Clap, clap, clap. Easy clap. There we go. There's an engine. If the king demands ahead, to get smashed. He's actually gone and boosted that, so yeah, I'm not sure why. But... For the clan! For Skellige! We use, of course, the leader value this time around, but. We just had the Quartermaster ready. He's ready to leap into action in case there was a bigger engine, which we had to kill. I don't know what that would be, but, you know. This deck just doesn't really lose, right? I think the hardest matchup must be V. Maybe some forms of Nilfgaard, but... I think I've also, also been playing a lot, it wrong quite a lot, especially when I was playing earlier, a few days ago. Because these games feel so slick, like, very one-sided. clouds gather over to Maria. Amphibious Assault. What do you know? Hey, I can Ooh, see that's a big lad. That's a big lad. Is he actually fighting me for this round? I mean, he kind of has to. But you know what I mean. Oh my god, I just had the biggest deja vu ever, dude. I just had the biggest deja vu. I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> Maybe I have. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe the meta's just very stale. And I actually have. <gasps> we can snipe this if we hit... Let's hit it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. That's actual... Vile... Ugh. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. That's vile. Holy shit. That's, oh my goodness, that's awful, dude. This guy's incredibly fucked. <laughs> I've never seen someone so, so utterly clowned on. Lippy is really disgusting. If you call it, it's not high roll, yep. Why Roach is jumping back to deck? Because a lippy puts stuff back in your deck from the graveyard and it comes back out again. It make, makes sense. We can play lippy this round. It's actually optimal to play lippy this round. 
So we can draw into Burner and such. Round three. Viserys, round two. Yes, many legend, exactly. Leo. No, I never underwent mutation. And Scythemen. My spirit's willing and how, but. Uh, pretty sure I'm just igneing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh god, poor guy, holy moly, this guy's getting absolutely shredded. Absolutely shredded, I got a full value hen caduch, which is going to play for an obscene amount of points. It's basically a second totem. Getting any of this? You understand a word I'm saying? I will play it because I think I'm just playing my whole hand and winning. Because why not? It's fun, right? It's fun Need and interactive. Just chop one off. I mean, honestly, he's playing some pretty good cards, so maybe I should take it, chill, and, <laughs> and not too over. Oh, is there a bug? No, Balmung. I don't. I haven't come across that. Maybe that is a bug. Yeah. What card are you playing it with? There might be something where you like. Uh, like, you used to be able to make a roach come back to your hand with Emir. You know what I mean? Or like, rain farm or some shit? I don't know how it worked exactly, but... Pop them back in. Suffering. Our suffering I can't remember what combo it was. Us. It was like, something to do with spies, right? You'd like play a spy, get roach, pull it back. Have like, two card advantage or something? I don't know. Well, the card's pretty good. But I don't know if it's good enough, my dude. I don't know if it's good enough. I actually don't have space, so I probably should just pass here. I've kind of made myself very, uh, potentially very bricked in round three. But we have a snowdrop, so whatever. It's okay. It's all good. Kelda. Bit of a late Kelda, but he's here. Garlic, see what I mean, guys, I mean, do we want to really mess around and go round three, or do we just win the game here? What do you think? It's probably got Yerd and last card or some bullshit. I'm not even going to pull out all my guys, I don't give a fuck. I'm ready. That's how little... That's how... Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's not meant to happen. Am I throwing right now? Am I throwing for content right now? Nah, it's, it's memes, we still win. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> throwing for content! I tried to throw with Lippy, I can't even throw. The deck's too strong, it's not even possible to throw. I just 2-0. Can't throw if you just 2-0, am I right?